Friday, and that means that it's myself and Brigetti. Hello, Brigetti. Hello, Stephen, and hello, everyone. Everyone in the UK and in South Africa, good evening to you and to our friends in the US. It's a great big morning to you guys, <laughs> and good afternoon. Good evening to, no, it's morning. Morning. It is. In what is it down under? It's, it's morning now, definitely, I think. Very early. Yeah, Very so early. It's, it's morning down under. So, <laughs> hello, everyone, and welcome to the show. <sighs> it's the weekend at long last. Um, now, uh, did you catch uh, the announcement of the Be Live Awards? I did indeed. I did indeed. How very exciting. Um, it's. I cannot believe we already headed up for the second birthday celebrations of the Be Live. Um, it's, it's, um, I can't believe two years have gone by. It's crazy. It's like, it feels like yesterday when we were celebrating Be Live TV day and it was a huge celebration and gearing up to almost Saturdays, like we we're on. In fact, I was thinking about this the other day. I was talking to someone about Be Live, and you know, the features that we take for granted now. Um, do you remember the excitement we had when we were building up for this? When we were oh, yeah. looking at totally. getting lower thirds, we were looking at getting the moving lower thirds, we were looking at having four people on screen, you know. Yep excitement was building up and now that we've used it for the last couple of months we almost take those features for granted but to add the ability to do that i mean the fact that you can brand your logo you can brand it with your own colors um you can put down lower thirds to highlight the comments you frame that brands your organization hi catherine welcome you also have the opportunity to uh, sponsor brigetti we're having a little technical difficulty um okay my internet's gone first drop me down and i'm going to come back in again okay Okay, so Brigetti will be back in a moment and say welcome to everybody. This is the Friday show when uh, we sort of wind down for the weekend. And Catherine's saying, I'm doing Stephen's Udemy course and learning how to use all these features. Thank you, Catherine. Enjoy the course. If you've got any questions at all, then, uh, then please do ask. I'm going to close a couple of browser windows down because I, uh, I feel that I'm a bit, just a minute, just a minute. This is live video. Anything can happen. Sometimes does. So I'm just going to check that my processor is happy and I'm going to close a few more windows. So I'm left with just the bare minimum. And right, okay, everything's under control. We're back. And uh, thank you, April. April's just posted the... Uh, the document that contains the BeLive Awards nominations, and uh, I think you can add your own as well, can't you, April? Which is good—a good move. So, if you click that link, you can go along and you can vote for the artists that are suggested. And I think you can actually add it to that list too. Um, and there are a lot of different categories, and. Uh, Brigetti, April, and I have something in common. Because we're admins and moderators of Belivers Group, we won't be on the list, but we're cheering everybody else on. So uh, we'll be voting. We're voting for our favorite shows and hosts in uh, all the different categories that uh, Belive put together for this birthday party, which will be in October, around about October 16th, I think. Don't quote me on that. They'll come back with details later. Uh, but certainly, BeLive is a fantastic, yes, people can vote for themselves. And you, if somebody's not there, then 
and but you can only vote once okay and there's no voting for be live hosts brand ambassadors or moderators uh so that's team be live really anybody who's on team be live uh you can't actually vote for no problems uh anyway i'd like to tell you while we're waiting for brigetti to come back oh no i'll i'll, I'll busk it until brigetti does come back uh if you want to join us on camera today then you just need to uh type guest and i've just got a thank you from lottie uh excellent and um type guest you get a message in messenger and you can then join us on camera and join brigetti and i and brigetti is going to appear hello my connection should be better now I'm now connected with it, my well is it, it any is better a, it is it's a lot better um we're good we're good and we say hello to gospel who's just joined us and april is here too and april gave us the uh link for people to vote in the be live awards which i mentioned and uh the rules are fantastic you can vote for yourself you can only vote one time one vote one time and you cannot vote for be live hosts brand ambassadors or moderators which is good absolutely uh, and gospel is saying hello Brigetti. and if you want to join us hello, on camera gospel and hello april do, welcome everybody knows everybody this is the community at work wonderful so type guest to join us on camera and you're more than welcome to do so and uh <laughs> ah now this is the thing when i when i went to look at the list i don't catherine's saying i don't watch any of those shows i've heard of some of the people but did not know, know they do be live shows except Fonz. congratulations to Fonz, our friend uh Fonz chamberlain you have he's, a fan is it well he's on the list as well so uh congratulations to him um i know he's got two votes possibly three um yeah i mean there's a whole host of shows i mean we we have our own community and, and separate communities around that but there are thousands of people who are not in the Belivers group um, who also run shows and we we're hearing about them through the voting because they unless they tell us where they are we can't find them so this is going to be a great way of actually finding uh, new shows and uh, Catherine saying congratulations to Fonz and April confirming that she voted for Fonz so we're getting more votes for Fonz which is good vote for funds uh all right and none of those are posted in on the belivers group or on the live video hub that's true it's given me a list to uh to have a look at see if we can entice well you know what in this over. um last week i found two people in south africa who's using be live and i thought wow finally oh right <laughs> after all this time i found be live and i reached out to them so they're like whoa you know this is phenomenal find someone that right. um that has discovered be live tv and using it absolutely brilliant we, we're spreading around the world and and uh none of those are posted in Belivers group or the live video hub so we have a lot of people to meet and greet and uh catherine's also saying many of those are established in their own fields because if they're in a niche market and that niche market is not of interest to us then we won't find them but through the form we will and april is saying it took me 30 minutes to complete that form because there are so many people and so many shows to choose from shall we ch it, it is because i mean there's for me all on there that i don't know i have not, not seen so i actually want to want to have a look uh, because that that way i can make a more informed uh decision before i vote right i, I, I agree and some of them uh catherine says some of she's followed in the past i expect before they were live streaming so 
We're going to take a look at the, by the magic of BeLive.tv. We're going to take a look at the form that, that uh, we can hop over to and vote. So I'm going to go full screen with the form, and then um, you should be able to see it full screen. Is that okay, Bajetti? Is it legible? Yes, apps. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it to come up. It takes a moment before I can see it. Right. Okay. So the Belive Awards, uh, dear Belive, the Belive birthday is coming up. We want to celebrate by honouring the best Belive shows. We want you to be part of it by voting for your favourite shows and hosts because we value your opinion. The Belive TV team has put together the initial nominees, but please feel free to add more. And then, as uh, April said, there are rules, but there aren't too many rules. So let's get into the form itself. You enter your email address and your first and last name, and then there are nominations for best solo show. Uh, Lisa Cordiff, Kim Garst, Carol Tuttle. If you don't know who those people are, then you can go and look for them. Or if you do know somebody who runs a great show which is solo, then you can add them. Now, Stop me when you've heard of any of these, Brigetti. This is going to be a good game. Uh, best interview <laughs> show, Oxford Seminars. Lindsay Elmore, Naomi Gilmore. And these obviously uh, good shows. Best talk show, American Horse talk, talk. Russell Bronson, who I do uh, have heard of. I think I've heard of the first one as well. And then John Tesh, yeah. Best sports show. Now, this will be American sport. So, DPAT, DPAT, Wrestle Zone, Major League Fishing. Best health show. And there are six shows, five shows in there. Best personal development show. Best creative show. Best lifestyle show. Best business show. I've seen smart smart pizza marketing turning up in my timeline occasionally so uh, they're doing some promotion yeah. best technology show best foreign language show and i've got it oh you can't nominate it's not, i'm going to ask to have another button put on there because i know a couple of portuguese shows that uh, should be on this and then we have uh best female host shout out to karen glasser and to Mummy Talk Live and Create Abilities, and you can nominate your own best female host as well. And then, as we said earlier, best male host is Fonz Chamberlain, Rob Sperry, Reality Changes, um, and Life of Dad. Best studio, uh, My Lifestyle Academy. Best community show, Wigan TV. Good to see the Brits there. And Ladies Go Live. So to Ladies Go Live. Uh, congratulations for making a list because you are on Ladies Go Live. Why are you not, Brigitte? Absolutely, and that's a boost and a chart live. And of course, funds I know, but I, I honestly go and find all those people on the list. Yeah, and then and and one and. Yeah, sorry, I'm. You okay. Good. Right. Um, just to catch up on the comments, and uh, while Brigitte's signal stabilizes, uh, uh, I'll do it again later, April, and I'll plus 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 the screen. Um, Catherine says she knows Kim and Carol, but not the live streams. Uh, and Catherine knows Sonny and James. Good. And then April voted for Franco Franco twice because he's in two different categories. I think Brigetti, your signal is uh, having one or two problems. Let me go out and, and oh, no, right, uh, refresh okay again. Now. I'm having a bit of a no, nightmare. No, 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 is it okay? No, no. no stay, stay there. Stop. Stop. That was okay. That bit was fine. We're good. If it, get, if it happens again, I'll, I'll, I'll say something. And next time I actually show the screen, I will uh, do the control plus plus as uh, 
April advise. But it's, it is a mix. It's, there's very few people who are actually watch on a regular basis. So there are lots of shows we can actually check up and uh, go and watch. Yeah. It's good that uh, we live have put the list together because they know who's actually uh, successfully broadcasting on the platform. And then we'll invite them over to the live video hub and then we'll invite them into be livers, possibly. I know that'll be for an off because there's been such in uh, the be livers group in the last year that once we have a birthday celebration, I can imagine that we'll have a huge to be livers um, as people of the, the group that is available. I did see our friend. He is, yes. This is good. Um, and, and you know, another person I want to add to the list in terms of being helpful is um, is Tish. She joins almost, you know, even though, I mean, she's not broadcasting, but she's always in people's shows. Um, you know, she's a very active, be active. She is, and she gets up very, very early in the morning sometimes to watch the shows this side of the world. Um, so, yes, yeah, that's, that's an excellent. If, if you get that on and the floor, what I like I'm about, about it. you know, um, I don't know, for want of a better word, lurkers, <laughs> people that very quietly watch your show and they don't say anything in the comments, they don't say hi, and that's okay. Not people to watching from low it's okay you know I think people will kind of grow into uh, communicating but someone like Tish for example she's very active um, and then there's uh, a new um, ladies go live I wanted to give her a shout out as well and now I'm trying to state it where and I can't think of, but the great thing about Sarah, Sarah, um, he does contract and she um, promotes that people keep their contracts to five excessively long contracts. But what I like about her is that when she goes on shows and she, she will almost do the time stamping for you she listen to whether it's live or um or she watches on the, she will mention all the key points podcast and that's very very useful for people who and they want to just get the key points she's fantastic at that there are some people and she's one of those that are great um commenters on on live streams uh one of whom is our friend Corinda, and Catherine's giving a shout out for Corinda uh, because he is very helpful and supportive and uh, a good friend to us all. Um, and, so. and Corinda, I want to say uh, to, to his credits, Corinda is very good at reminding people to have a call to action at the end of their broadcast because that's, that's an important aspect. You, you want to have some, some sort of a call to action. And it's one thing I see about him consistently you know, have a call to action. Totally agree. Totally agree. Um, right. Okay. So I'm going to go through that. As I've got the screen share, I'll just go through it once more and I'll do the control plus plus uh, and then we'll, we'll move forward. So I'm sharing my screen at the moment. I'm going to come back and bring it on screen and hopefully it will turn up and I'm going to share, go full screen. Then I'm going back to the browser. I'm going to skip to the top of the screen. Uh, and right, let's make sure this it's just, I'm coming back to, to ask. April, does that look better? Hopefully. That does look better, it's more visible. Right, okay. 
it's more visible that's better okay let's just go through it again so you can vote for best solo show um and best interview show best talk show best sports show and we need some uh, european sports on there and some uh we need to put cricket on there brigetti we need to find somebody broadcasting about cricket or rugby and uh, we do we do. and then best health show um best personal development show because those are very popular uh shows and best creative show uh best lifestyle show best business show best technology show best foreign language show best female host shout out for karen again and of course a shout out for fonds in best male host best studio setup and then best community show and then community hero and we know all three that's alfredo dale and eddie so a shout out for for them too and i'll stop sharing now and as april said what you want to do is get yourself a glass of water or a cup of tea if you're in the uk or a cup of coffee if you're into coffee and <laughs> thank you april and sit down for I, half I, an I hour wanna, i want to just say yeah I, I love tea but one thing i learned about about you guys in the uk when you talk about tea that is that is the meal right no that's that's tea <laughs> here, My best there's food. mine <laughs> uh, now if peter stewart was here he'd have an advert on the side of the cups so that when he brought the cup up on screen like something like costa or something like that um okay we, we need to get a be live in five mugs Stephen. that's an idea that's an idea which leads us nicely we, we really yeah we could we could actually get uh we could get mugs we get t-shirts that's a thought that's a thought the drink gospels agree in the drink good um yeah, now the other thing that's that's going on at the moment, remember you can type guest to join us on camera um, and you're more than welcome to do so. Uh, and the other thing we want to talk about is Five Days Live. And Five Days Live in August, we just enjoyed ourselves so much, didn't we, Brigetti? It did, and it went by so phenomenally quickly. Um... And, I, and it was and it was well received. I mean, it was the first time we did it. And whenever you do something for the first time, you know how how people is going to receive it if it's going to be valuable to people. Um, but I think you know, I mean, the reason we're doing it again is because the feedback was so good. It was it was well received by people. People appreciated the input. And uh, and I think you know when you get that kind of it's great because you you know that you're on the right palm and share the value so i think it's quite exciting that we are able to do uh one in such quick succession and i think we've got a newcomer this this time we have. Um, we're welcoming lottie yeah lottie hearn from ladies go live so that is a great acquisition for the team um and I know that Lottie will bring a lot of energy to to the show. So, could you join us? Indeed, uh, as myself and yourself, and Annie Moura is coming back uh, on the Wednesday, and Linda West and David Burrows, Chura Piper, and Lottie Hearn, and of course RJ Redden. So. Those are the eight people involved. And the shows, if hopefully I'll get these in the right order if not. But just a moment. Let's get back to the Monday. Right. And the first show on Monday is Building Your Brand, Brigetti. Yes, because, you know, that is that is what live streaming is all about. 
uh, is branding yourself, um, getting, you know, allowing people to get to know who you are. And uh, the importance of branding and branding correctly could not be underestimated. So I'm not going to go into a huge discussion about it. Don't want to give too much away. <laughs> no, true. <laughs> but uh, we'll be we'll be diving deep into the whole branding um, thing. And that's myself, Brigetti, David, and Linda. And on the Tuesday, I'm trying to find it. These are in the wrong order. God. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> right. On the Tuesday, we'll be talking about running your show. And that's Cheryl, myself and uh, Lottie Hearn from Ireland. And we're looking forward to that. Uh, it's the first time that I think the three of us are broadcast together. So it's going to be uh, great fun. And uh, we're working at the moment to decide exactly what we're going to talk about. Uh, so let's come forward to get it right now. Wednesday. Uh, what to do after your show, and that's with myself, RJ, and Annie Mura. And that's a different show it's out at uh, 9 30 rather than 10 a.m. Eastern uh, because of Annie's schedule. Last time when Annie was uh, part of the uh, Five Days Live, he said, Right, I can come on for 20 minutes. And he had an appointment 40 minutes later than that. So he wanted to get ready for his appointment. Um, but what happened was he cancelled his appointment, stayed on for the full hour, and he knew that was going to happen this time because he's going to appoint at 10.30. <laughs> so he asked us uh, to move the time of the show so that uh, he, we didn't have to rush anything. And then on Thursday, it's New Horizons, which could be anything, uh, as RJ Brigetti and David talk about what's on the horizon. Is there anything beyond Facebook Live, I think is the question. And then on Friday, it's show promotion with Brigetti, RJ, and Cheryl. So there you have it. There's a full week of shows, and we're looking forward to presenting those shows. They're all free to watch. The recordings are free to watch. And we welcome everybody to join us. And uh, Catherine is saying, uh, I have to work outside the home for part of Wednesday, but I'll make sure make all the rest of the week brilliant another suggestion from Catherine going on with your merchandising idea uh, Brigetti is to make them big mugs that hold more than 12 ounces okay so we'll we'll bear that in mind so great great idea yeah so five days live um, and we'd like you to join us on camera as well there's always a spare seat on every one of the shows so if you've got questions about any of the topics we're covering then please do join us um and ask your questions make your points uh it's good that when everybody actually gets involved so that's five days live starts uh, october 1st which is a monday runs through to friday which is the fifth and your hosts are stephen healy brigetti limbanda ali mora linda west david burrows Cheryl piper lottie hearn and rj redden and uh, I just I spent an hour this afternoon chatting with RJ, RJ. Um, nothing about live video. We weren't doing live video. We were talking about a U new Udemy course, uh, which we're putting together, all about mes messenger bots and a mug and a water cup. This merchandise range is growing, growing nicely. <laughs> Brilliant. It's, so, a, it's a it's great a idea. It's all go at the moment. Um, right, so we've talked about. Uh, we've talked. You, you said you'd leave me to the agenda. That's not always a good idea, Brigetti, because <laughs> we've, we've completed it. Um, <laughs> I mean, that's the thing about agendas, though, isn't it? You you either you either do too much and you don't get through it, or you you do it too short and you then got to, as we're doing now. You've got to extemporize, as they say. You've got to make it up as you go along. Oh, absolutely. And sometimes and sometimes that's the fun part. Um, I, I was on a live yesterday and I was talking about something that um, is, is, a, is, is problematic worldwide. And, and that is um, having people who are keyboard warriors and people who don't go live 
I have responsibility. And I think that, that, you know, for me, that's a topic that needs to be ongoing. We need to keep reminding people that right to go live and you have the right to type, uh, you know, anything you want on the internet. But um, one needs to consider whether it's responsible, whether it's kind, whether it's helpful. And um, I think for me, the takeaway from that conversation was that what, whenever we are online, we need to remember that there's no undo button, that whatever we say and do online is going to live on for a long time. Even if we go and delete the comment or we delete the video, um, people are so fast. We live in a world where anything and everything can be screenshot. And sometimes we may be in a moment of anger and we post something and we may regret it. And so um, the best thing one can do is when you feel tempted to respond um, in a huff because you don't like what someone said, a good five seconds just to take a breath and think about it for a moment. Um, you know, is it helpful to respond back? Is that comment possibly going to come back and bite you? I've seen how people have lost their livelihoods because they've not been, they post online. And it, I, it, it doesn't the people, it affects their, you know, it affects their family, it affects, it affects their community. So always be careful um, when you post something online. Always um, be um you can't you can't undo it if you've been unkind to someone online you can't undo that that's true you, you should treat people as you as if you're in the same room talking to them and and the question comes from april who determines what is kind and respectful when it comes to opinions we do i would say not Brigetti and i but we as readers of the, the, the yeah comments. correct yeah. If it's, you know, if you people that would read that, I always feel that you should put your shoes a person. Um, if you feel one in a unkind manner, treated you that way, how would you feel about that? Um, you may be angry at that moment, um, and, it's, and it's the same as in real life exactly the same in any kind of relationship with you uh, with a spouse or a friend and be angry and without thinking you say something unkind you want to bite your tongue but very often the damage is already done so um, a, as I said a good rule is to take five and think about um, just realizing that but you can't take it back Exit. Yeah. Um, in South Africa, like in many other, that it's um, it's something that in South Africa, mm -hmm. but in in here it's seen in a very um, I forgot the word now, but racial slurs is one of in South Africa. Yes, and Indeed, um. Indeed. Race, religion, politics, all of which are, are potentially contentious, aren't they? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And, you know, one just has to be respectful of people's um, opinion and, um, and, and not be, you know, not be so quick to... There's, I mean, the people that have gone there now hugely regret it, but they can't undo it. That's the that's that's the problem. Once you've that line, it's very hard to make a comeback. And I think we actually end up uh, for five days live. I think one of the topics we've got there is how to undo a bad reputation or that's something. Right. something it can possible. it can happen I mean, you know it can happen so it's good to know how then do you do damage control 
um, if you if you have said something unkind online, how do you how do you repair the relationship? Um, and I think that's always the goal is one wants to move forward and see how you can do um, damage control if you can, if you haven't made a complete edit of yourself. True, very true. And Catherine is saying, what was that comment that was made a lot uh, in the Bliff week? Be the viewer that you would like to have. And I think you he, he, quite right. I think RJ said that. It's good advice. So live video, be okay, respectful. Yes. And uh, Cass is also saying, I think it's staying within the parameters of the show. And I'd like to learn how to avoid getting a bad reputation as well. Well beyond the obvious. Uh, I think that will be covered in the Monday show at 10 a.m. on the 1st of October um, when uh, Brigetti and David and Linda uh, sit down and talk about the topics. Um, it's a, it is a very personal area. And we're on here and we're actually putting ourselves out there. And I think that the, the thing I love about the community as a whole is that in live video, everybody supports everybody else. And uh, that's the way it should be. And long may it continue. Um, I think that most in most of the majority of the shows, then it, there is, isn't a problem. We're talking about outliers rather than the, the general range of shows. I just want to come back to a comment that... Uh, April made earlier, slightly changing the topic. Uh, Stephen, I would love you to do, see you do a Udemy course about how you create a Udemy course. Now, I know that was said tongue in cheek and I appreciate it, but you know what? I do have a course about creating a Udemy course and I'll send you a link to it after the show, April. There you are. A course about creating a Udemy course step by step. Um, and it'd be good. Yeah, I think that the, the situation is that, that providing that we don't talk about contentious areas, I mean, they're always, like for, for argument's sake, on the, the show we do on Thursdays, um, we have a situation where we have, <laughs> I will post the link, Catherine, I promise. Um, we have a situation. In demand where, topic. Oh, yeah, good, good. Um, we have a situation on Thursdays. And politics in the UK is left wing, right wing, middle ground. And it's the same in all countries. But on the show, we have one person who is left wing, two people who are middle and one who is right wing. And it's possible to get into all sorts of heated discussions. But the discussions are about the topic. They're not about the people in the show. And I think that's what uh, that is where you can have a rational discussion and people can put their point of view forward and it does get heated. But as soon as the topic's finished, everybody sits back, relaxes and it's on to the next topic. So if you keep to the topic, we've got a saying in the UK, which is a cricket saying. And I'm not going to explain cricket to anyone, uh, but it's play the ball, not the man. And that could well relate to uh, to baseball too right i i i, I that Stephen, that applies to so many um that for um here in south africa you know we've got the issue with the a water crisis and it's again water crisis in florida it's in australia so it's not not just in south africa it's in india so it's not just a South African issue, and it's a very um, um, and a lot of people don't understand um, the weaponization of war of water. You know, mm. to our economy, it's, it's central to absolutely everything that we do. Without water, we cannot do anything. So the topics, the, all the conversations around very very heated i have seen over and over and so many times i cannot stress it um 
and very important to remind people to play the ball, not the. I have seen people get so incredibly wound up and they get personal and they attack people so viciously online. Um, it is unbelievable. And you, you want to just remind reason to go get upset or angry about an issue but never use that as an, as an opportunity you know we're all entitled to our opinions but play nice you know attack the situation be angry about the situation but never get where you are attacking someone online um i always want to remind people to be mindful of the fact the people line, me and you know, we've got children, we've got colleagues who are going to be seeing those comments. So, you know, attack the situation, not the person. It's it's uh, it's one of the most un to do to go and attack people in their personal capacity online. I agree. Um now, just going back to you, Jimmy, for a moment. Uh, Gospel saying that uh, somebody else who's got a course, and uh, Catherine is saying that RJ, RJ and Kim were talking about course creation today. That was interesting stuff. Uh, as I said, I was chatting to RJ for about an hour today about the many, many chat course that we're putting together. Uh, so it's a very in topic at the moment. Just to go back to uh, there is one by another man on Udemy. Uh, I'm going to post the link I post will be a free link. So you can take the course for free for it. This is a thank you from Brigetti and I for being involved in our shows. Um, yeah, I think it's uh, going to be an interesting week. Uh, and the birthday celebrations are going to be interesting as well. It'd be interesting to see who actually wins. Uh, well, I think everybody who's been nominated, first of all, everybody who's been nominated is a winner. That's the first thing to say. Um, and if you do know somebody in any of the categories we talked about earlier that should be on that list, then please do put them on that list. And uh, if you want to mention them during any of our shows during the week, then please do. Um, what we want to do is support people who support us. So if you could do that, that would be... Uh, very helpful to everybody. Um, huh. Right, okay, back to having no agenda again and how important it is to have one. Um, <laughs> I, I only had half a dozen items on, because I had, uh, this is my second show today and I did a now with RJ and now with another company. Uh, so I ran out of time, unfortunately. Uh, so if you've got any questions that you'd like to ask or Right. Okay. Or so the a key feature of this you can list down a whole bunch. You know, often people want to know, well, what do I talk about in my show? Mm -hmm. um, things. What if I forget things? Keep uh, the of an agenda on it. You can list down things that you can talk about. Um, you can not only list down things because the 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 allows you to put a topic so those are sort of your your key points but it's also got a space where you can elect on that topic because that'll help you to kind of stay on track and to have things to talk about topic a for you to not not forget your your key points um and you can even put in questions there that you want to ask your guest points. The other thing, if you, if you great, do have it. Great way. Can so having the, having the agenda. Um, helps especially if 
you are a a new and know how to get going especially if you've got um your show is say 15 minutes 30 minutes long and you've got a lot of stuff to cover have a um you can have a section where you have your opening just going through the details, then your session, and then write down um, your closing thing. A great idea that I want to give everyone is when you have a, a regular show, it's always nice to, um, to have a specific um, open and close for your show that people will recognize. So write that down if there's something specific and especially your call to action so that you don't forget at the end of the broadcast to have a call to action. So put down your call to action as part of your agenda. Um, and a great one to add also is if you have a regular show, you could tell people what they can expect in the next one. So in your current broadcast, and especially if you've got a nice audience, you can come back so say to them all, next week we'll be discussing X, Y, Z. So people look forward to your next little marketing um, trick in your um, in your agenda to move this week. Brilliant. Now, do you have shows coming up over the weekend, Brigetti? You said knowingly because I no. Are you broke no. Um, I don't have any shows this weekend, oh, no, right. but I do. we do have the one um, in the BeLivers group. So if you are in the BeLivers group, that one is, it's Lights, Camera, Action Live, and that's specifically for everyone in, if you are in the BeLivers group, um, come and watch the show. That'll be in an hour's time. No, an hour, just under an hour's time. Uh, or just over an hour. I'm getting confused it's, with the time now. In an hour and 10 minutes. This, 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 so we're, in a, we're, tomorrow in the UK marks the uh, the start of autumn, the end of summer, and we're not very far off the clocks changing, which creates havoc. Because I don't know about you, Brigetti, but I plan my shows based on Eastern time, and of course, for a, a week, because the, cl the clock change in the UK and America is. On different dates we're going to have a week where we don't know whether we're coming or going and where we could start a show an hour early or an hour late um, it was all very confusing so it it it's uh, that first week of the changeover is absolutely chaotic just trying to reorientate yourself um you know so you're going into in going into to summer Catherine's asking um, if she's still on I Live You next week. Yes, of course. I hope so. Yes, please. Yeah, certainly. I mean, that, <laughs> that's, that's brought up a new topic, um, which is good. Thank you for that. Um, when we started the, Fonz and I started the I Live Here show, which is uh, basically, um, I'm in the studio. And uh, our guests come in via mobile phone and give us a guided tour of the area they live. But instead of pointing the camera at themselves, their mobile at themselves, they're actually pointing it outwards. And we're traveling with them around their own town or city. And um, it just it's working so well. We've had a very enthusiastic response uh, because we're showing people our area that we have in-depth knowledge of. And Fonz has, has been out and about four times now, uh, is very knowledgeable about Cambridgeshire uh, and he knows the history of it being the Cambridge historian that helps. But we had a very special show last Friday, last Tuesday, uh, when we were joined by Ricky Arundel. Now, she lives in what can best be described as a north in a city called Hull. And uh, Ricky said to, to Fonz and I, I'll just come on for 15 and 20 minutes. I'll do this. I'll go from A to B to C. And then when I finish, I'm off screen. Yeah. OK. 15 minutes later, <laughs> Ricky was still talking. He gave us a great 
uh, and Catherine's agreeing, uh, Ricky was great. He get, she gave us a, a great tour of the whole of uh, Hull, and coming back coming back in October to join us again. And it's just you're actually visiting places you wouldn't normally get to, um, you know. And it just works so well. I'm looking forward to uh, Catherine being with us on the show. I'm looking forward to Gospel being with with us on the show, and. Uh, Gospel's also saying that the time, clocks change in October. And uh, Gospel enjoyed watching Ricky as well. And uh, uh, yes, it's, it, she was a great host. Uh, yeah, and Gospel volunteered to go to Hull on a vacation. So there you are. That's how good it was. That's it, how well it uh, was presented by Ricky, who's lived there. Uh, since the 90s right okay so I live here so that's next Tuesday uh, with Catherine and then gospel joins us in October and uh, I think Ricky's back in October as well it gives Fonz a break um, because if he was doing 52 weeks a year then uh, he would get pretty tired and um, it just works out very well when people do join us. We're hosting to be joined from the States as well, very soon, as well as Catherine. So all good. In fact, it's a, it's a great innovative, um, show. And, uh, I like that. It's, 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 it's not guides. So you kind of get the inside the a local's perspective um not someone that's taught what to say and how to say it and I, and what yeah. to show tourists um so that's the nice part of it so you can actually feel like you're literally there with the person that's taking a walk in their neighborhood um and i think that's that's what's unique about the show. i live here Thank you. Um, yes, indeed. And right, okay. Well, it's the weekend. So to celebrate the weekend, I'm going to go out. It's Friday, so I'm going out to the fish and chip shop uh, <laughs> to buy fish and chips, uh, which is a tradition in the UK, uh, as uh, Gospel knows. Um, it's part of the weekend. That's when the weekend starts, to sit there with uh, fish and chips and a speciality beer because uh, we've got plenty of choice uh, starts my weekend and Brigetti would you like to uh, close the show and say thank you to everybody um, yes a big big thank you to everyone who has joined us live today and everyone who's commented thank you to Catherine thank you to gospel thank you to April um, did I leave anyone else out there that was watching us live today? Um, no offense meant if I left you out, but everyone who joined us live, thank you. Those who are watching the replay, uh, Kim, thanks very much for that reminder uh, for joining us. If you do have the opportunity to watch, to join um, Angeline and I in the BeLivers group a bit later, we're going to be talking about what holds us back from success. Um, and taking a look at the story we tell tell ourselves and how that holds us back from being um, great live streamers. Right. So do join us later if you can. Um, it's the weekend. Have a fun one, everyone. In South Africa, it's a public holiday on Monday. It's Heritage ah. Day here in South Africa. Okay. So we've got a long weekend coming up. So whatever you're doing, have a great one. Stay safe. And I'm going to remind all of you, um, do not engage in distracted driving of any kind. Do not live stream if you're driving. Always do whatever you do safely. Have a great week ahead. And Stephen and I will see you again back here next week on Be Live in 5. It's a great big pleasure, Catherine. So from me, Brigetti in Cape Town, it's toodaloo until next week. And from Stephen in Wiltshire in England, having had a German lesson this today, early today, Tschüss von mir. Auf Wiedersehen.